Hey everybody, Mike Harlan here, Choir Room Extra, and Nicole C. Mullen is in the house. Here she is. God Aww, bless you. you too, we Mike. love this lady, and uh, Nicole is here today to be a part of our Choir Room broadcast, and many of you will have probably watched that live today, or maybe you're watching an archive of it later. We're recording this interview just to live on the website and just to be an encouragement. Uh, and we call these choir room extras. You've seen some of the other ones we've done. If you haven't watched those, you need to go watch them because a lot of great ministry and a lot of great things are said in the choir room extra. Here's why we do it. When we have someone that God's hand is upon their life and resting on their life and He's using them in ministry, speaking words of truth over the body of Christ and reaching people in the name of Christ, when we have one of those people near Lifeway, we grab them, we chain them to a chair, we turn on a camera, and we talk to them because we want to know uh, what God's saying to them and how God's moving in their life. And today we have Nicole C. Mullen. We're so thrilled to have you here. Uh, thanks for having me. Yeah. Now, Nicole, you live close by. I do. Outside of Franklin, Outside Tennessee. of Franklin, mm -hmm. which is where I live. Yep. I live out we in the country, though. Yeah. The, well, that's right. You're in the country. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> that reminds me of when you and I first met. And we were talking about this off camera, so you know what yes. I'm talking about. The first time I met Nicole C. Mullen was not at a Christian concert. It wasn't mm -hmm. at a worship service. It wasn't in uh, uh, any kind of ministry setting. It was at a football game. I was doing mom duty. You were doing mom duty, mom duty. because she had yes. boy and, and friends and family members playing in a football league in Franklin. And my son, John, plays in that league. And I'm at the, in the end zone with my wife. And I look and I see Nicole C. Mellon. And she's saying, go boy, go boy. Yeah. Go. And, and she's cheering yes. her son on. And I met you that day. Yes, and great. I would have never dreamed mm -hmm. when I met you that day that God would see fit for our ministries to come alongside. Yeah. Now, uh, here's, here's what brings Nicole to LifeWayWorship.com. Uh, and you'll see all the charts there and a lot of things from Nicole there is a new project called Captivated. So talk to us a little bit about a new project that you've just released. It's in stores now. Yes. Tell us about it. Well, um, you know, every time I write a song, I always go to the Lord and I ask him, or I'll say nine times out of ten, um, what is it that you want said to the people? Yeah. And I feel like oftentimes I'm his secretary. So what <laughs> is it that you want me to write down? And so um, I was going through a season and I really thought that I was going to write a body of work that was more, you know, horizontal by nature. Me telling you about my relationship with Christ, me telling you things that I've seen, things of that nature, in the style of Funkabilly. A little bit of folk and funk mixed <laughs> yeah. together. Funkabilly you know? is that what, you is what we call it, <laughs> I yes. Love it. I love it. And so um, I thought I was going to write more of that, but before I knew it, I kept having these downloads of worship songs. I would wake up in the morning and I'd be singing one of these songs that I have not yet written. I had yeah. not yet written. Yeah. And I would run and write it down. And before I knew it, I had a body of work. And I went to my husband and some friends of mine. And I said, you know, what do you think I ought to do with these? And uh, my husband, he introduced me to Ed Cash. And he mm. said, I think maybe this might be a, a time that you should work with Ed. And, you know, he's done worship music. And he's a producer extraordinaire. Oh, he's of great. course, Songwriter. Of course. Yes. Oh, man. And so we got together. You know, we prayed about it. His wife and himself and my husband and I, we all got together and we prayed and asked the Lord for wisdom and favor. And before I knew it, we were recording in the studio. And, um, and then we met up with, um, you know, Randy from um, Randy Arthur. Yes, yeah, I love yes. That guy. And you guys. Yeah. And, and um, so the partnership has been great so far. And it's, it's out and we're looking for great things that the yeah. Lord's going to do between all of us. Yeah. So, that meeting uh, we had that day, we were with Randy Allward and yes. our choir room audience has met Randy before. Randy's been a guest on our choir room and he's a, a strategic ministry partner with us here at Lifeway. Randy uh, facilitated a meeting with you and me and some other leaders yes. from Maranatha and from Lifeway. Linda Klosterman. Lin Linda Klosterman was yes. there. And I, what I remember about that meeting is God's word just being spoken out over that meeting. Yes. And we just sit, we, we, we sat mm. there crying the mm -hmm. whole time. We mm -hmm. didn't really make any yeah. decisions that yeah. day, yeah. but we just said God's spirit's at work and moving yeah. among us. Now, uh, when I think of Nicole C. Mullen, I think of God's word. Because mm. every time I'm around you, the word of God is pouring out of your life. Mm. So you obviously are spending some time not just reading God's word. You spend some time meditating and, and, and memorizing God's word. So talk about how important that is to your life. I love the word. Yeah. I really do. You know, I heard somebody say, um, I think it was yesterday. They were saying how I think there's a Jewish saying that says, uh, I think one of the rab rabbis t taught, um, to take the Torah, eat it, chew it, and to get it on your heart. Oh. And then one of the people asked, and they said, well, why is it that we're trying to get it on our heart and not in our heart? And he said, well, if you, it, he said, this is what you ought to know, is that it's only up to us. We can only get it on our heart. But it takes the breaking of the Lord wow. to allow that word to seep through and to get it in our hearts. That's awesome. And so for me, I do my best to get it at least on my heart. 
and leave it to the Holy Spirit yeah. to allow it to penetrate and to do his work. And so I love it. I love the scriptures. I love the stories that are told there. I love seeing the supernatural. I love seeing Jesus, you yeah. know, in the word. And so um, I do my best not to just memorize it and read it for myself, but I love to tell the stories of it. And I love to encourage, especially young people. That's awesome. And to create a hunger and a thirst in them for the word as well. Now you said a minute ago that, that you, you saw God's favor in this project. And, and what you just said reminded me of Isaiah 66 too. Mm. This is what the Lord declares. I mm. will show favor mm. on this kind of person. Mm. One who is humble, mm. submissive in spirit, mm. and trembles at my word. Mm. That's where God's favor mm. rests. Mm. And, and that's what I see in your life. And I just want to give God glory for, for that favor that rests on your life. Okay. You. Now, Nicole, I can't have you come to the choir room and sit in this chair without you giving me, just sing it, a cappella, the first line of Redeemer. I mean, of the chorus. I know. Sing, you can sing. No, you do it. You do it. I know my Redeemer. Isn't that awesome? Oh, my Your soul and body. Yes, I'm telling yeah. you. And, and you know what? You, God gave you that song and you brought that song to the church. And the first time I ever yeah. heard you sing and saw you sing and were ministered by you, you sang that National Day of Prayer a bunch of years ago. Yeah. And, and I saw that. In Washington? I, it was in Washington? It was in Washington, yeah. yeah. And I was watching that when you did mm. that. And I'm in my room just mm. doing things that Baptists aren't it's known like, for. Ah, you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on now. Pentecost? Anyway, well, <laughs> no. uh, you know, We're not going that far for hey, him. But don't you know, send any yeah, letters yeah, exactly. to me. Not for real. I was just kidding. All right, I want you to talk <laughs> to that person that's out there that God's call is on their mm -hmm. life. They know it. There's no doubt. Mm -hmm. they, they've experienced God's moving in their life. They're writing songs. They're doing ministry. But maybe they're not seeing Maybe they're not seeing God's harvest in their life. They might be a little discouraged today. What would you say? To you know, first of all, um, just a reminder that it's not up to us to deliver the fruit, to bear the fruit. It's yeah. up to us to be found faithful. The Bible says some water, some plant but the Lord gives the increase. Absolutely. And so I think our responsibility is to be faithful with our loaves and our fish, you know, to take it like the little boy in the Bible, give it to Christ and allow him to multiply it and to feed many Absolutely. by it. And so um, I think faithfulness is the key. And, um, you know, we, we practice, 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 but when it's all said and done, it's up to the Lord to take it and to multiply it in the lives of people. Well, here's, here's how much the word is part of your ministry, because when you did Captivated, the record, mm -hmm. there's some teaching tools alongside this record. Yes. And, and I was so glad that the Lifeway video team here yes. were part of that production, yes. helped you do them. You've done some teaching DVDs that go along with this project. So tell us a little more about those. Yes. Um, alongside, I mean, I've been speaking a lot, going out and doing that as well and singing, of course. And as we were writing the album, actually after the album was finished, I should say, I looked back and I saw that the album actually fit into the Lord's Prayer. And wow. so after many yeah. conversations with different people, we were like, let's go ahead and do a DVD on the Lord's Prayer, the things that you've been learning about. And so um, we took it and we broke it down into six sessions. And it's, a, it's for small group settings. You can yeah. do it as individuals or in a small group. And basically we break it down and we show different scriptures and different stories that we actually that I have encountered or come yeah. across even in my own life. And, um, and, and it's my prayer is that the Lord takes it and he uses it in yeah. the lives of his people and that they would um, have that hunger and that thirst that's inside of them, they would have it filled by himself as yeah. they fellowship with him. And so, um, yeah, it's out now. It's called Captivated by Prayer. That's awesome. And um, I'm excited to see if the Lord's going to well, do it. Well, now you, you embody and you're modeling something that if you've ever heard me talk about worship leading, you've heard me say this. And, and she's such a great example of it. I've, I've got to bring it to light now. And that is um, 1 Chronicles 25, the very first verse. It says, David set apart from among them the sons of Asaph, Jeduthun, and Haman for the ministry mm -hmm. of prophesying with mm -hmm. the accompaniment of harps, cymbals, and lyres. Mm -hmm. now, 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 what that means is the three word job description of the worship leader is preaching with accompaniment. Mm. Now what that means is guys, now listen, mm. this is true for you. It's true for me. It's true for Nicole. We have no, no less responsibility to the word of God right. than our pastor does. Mm. And so you better be in that book. Yeah. You better be reading it. You better be memorizing it, studying it, looking for resources that can help you understand it your ministry will flow out of God's word and his, that the activity of his word 
in your life. Absolutely. Would you say that's true? Absolutely. And I say often too, we can only lead people to where we are going. Sure. You know, you can't beat people to the presence of God. You can't shame them into the presence of God. You can only lead them there. That's it. And so my hope and my, my aim is to make it so palatable, make the, the not make, but to show that the presence of God is so delicious that people will really <laughs> want to taste, taste and, and see, see. that he go. really is good. Yeah. And so, um, but we've got to go there first in order to get other people to follow us there. Psalm 149, 6. Let the two-edged sword be in their hands and the word of praise in their mouth. Yes. There it is. That's, yes. that's what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Worship and the word. Well, that's all the time we got. Uh, mm -hmm. Just in a little while, we're going to start the choir room. Yes. And uh, we're going to have a great time. I hope this has been a blessing to you today. Find Nicole C. Mullins' CD, Captivated, and the teaching resources at Lifeway and at the stores and our website and Nicole's website. Find it. Use it. Let God speak to you through it. God bless you. Thanks for coming to the choir room extra today.